Anticipation is building for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, even though its expected release isn't until fall 2024. The rumor mill is already churning with speculation about the features and enhancements that Apple's next flagship phone might bring. The iPhone 16 Pro Max, if that's what it ends up being called, remains shrouded in mystery. There's talk that Apple might opt for a different name, such as the iPhone 16 Ultra. Potential upgrades could include a larger display, a new capture button, and an improved primary camera sensor. Here's a everything we know so far about the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Pricing and release date predictions for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. It's too soon to accurately predict the iPhone 16 Pro Max's price. However, given that the iPhone 15 Pro Max saw a $100 price increase, we're hoping Apple will maintain the current pricing for at least another year. If so, the starting price for a 256GB iPhone 16 Pro Max could be $1,199. Apple usually unveils new iPhones in early to mid-September. The only exception in recent years was during the pandemic. Typically, the event falls in the second or third week of the month, often on a Tuesday. If Apple follows this pattern, the 2024 September event could be on the 10th, with pre-orders for the iPhone 16 Pro Max starting on Friday, September 13th, and the release date potentially being September 20th. However, this is purely speculative. Design and display of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Early rumors suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro Max could see a size increase next year, growing from 6.7 inches to 6.9 inches. This would make it the largest iPhone ever, slightly surpassing the 6.8-inch Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, this size change is not yet confirmed and could be more subtle than expected. This potential increase in screen size is also expected to come with a larger battery. Preliminary CAD renders indicate that the new phone could be 0.19 inches taller, but only 0.019 inches wider than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This suggests that despite the size increase, the 16 Pro Max should still feel comfortable and familiar to use. However, it might not be ideal for those who find large phones challenging to handle. Comparisons of iPhone 16, Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra renders suggest that Samsung's upcoming phone could be slightly wider than an iPhone 16 Pro Max with an expanded screen. The Galaxy S24 Ultra Max could outweigh the iPhone 16 Pro Max by 233 grams to 225 grams. iPhone displays are typically supplied by Samsung, and supply chain rumors suggest that the version for the iPhone 16 Pro Max and other models will be more power efficient. This is due to an expected switch in OLED materials from blue fluorescent technology to blue phosphorescence technology. There's also speculation that Apple could hide the remaining Face ID sensors under the display of the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. This would reduce the necessary cutout to a single circle for the selfie camera, rather than the pill-shaped cutout of the dynamic island. However, this change might not occur until the launch of the iPhone 17 Pro in 2025. A prototype of the iPhone 16 Pro gives us a glimpse of what this design might look like. However, even the tipster who shared the leaked image believes this won't happen until the iPhone 17 at the earliest. Other analysts concur, suggesting that there are no major design changes in store for the iPhone 16 series, with one minor exception. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max may introduce at least one capacitive button, in addition to the recently launched action button. This new button, potentially named the capture button, could facilitate quick photo and video capture, possibly with an added focusing function. The action button might also be incorporated into the standard iPhone model, with no expected design alterations. These rumored changes are reflected in prototype-based renders from MacRumors. While Apple's final design may undergo some changes, it's likely to closely resemble the model that eventually hits the market. Potential specifications for the iPhone 16 Pro Max Given Apple's trend of equipping Pro iPhones with superior chipsets compared to standard and plus models, it's plausible that the iPhone 16 series will follow suit. This suggests that we might see an A18 chip in the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max models, possibly an A18 Pro, while other iPhone 16 models could feature different A18 variants. While the specifics of this chip remain unknown, Reports suggest that it will differ slightly from the A17 Pro. 
It appears that Apple will use chips built with TSMC's N3e process, as opposed to the N3b process used for the A17 Pro. This process is reportedly more cost-effective and yields higher results, along with a performance boost and a slight loss of efficiency. An industry report suggests that this will be followed by two NM chips in the iPhone 17. Despite using the same underlying technology, the A18 Pro could pack a surprising punch. Leaked benchmark figures suggest it could outperform Apple's M-series laptop tablet chips in single-core tests. There has been speculation that Apple might increase the memory in its phones to accommodate more AI-powered features. However, leaker at tech underscore Revy suggests this is unlikely, and the Pro Max is expected to retain 8GB of RAM. Support for Wi-Fi 7 seems a more probable upgrade. In terms of storage, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to start at 256 gigabytes. This could increase to 2 terabytes this year due to a new memory standard, although this might result in slower read-write speeds. Over the past few years, there have been numerous rumors about Apple's development of a proprietary 5G modem. However, the latest information indicates that this modem won't debut until 2025 with Qualcomm likely to remain the modem supplier for at least another year. Battery rumors are currently sparse in the iPhone 15 Pro Max development cycle. However, there are reports that Apple is exploring ways to reduce heat dispersion, including the use of a frosted metal shell and a new connector on the iPhone 16 Pro Max's battery. Apple is also reportedly seeking to diversify its battery assembly locations, which could help address supply shortages at launch. Similar to those that caused shipping delays for iPhone 15 Pro Max orders last fall. Battery of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. A recent leak suggests that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro Max could feature larger batteries. If true, this could result in a 6% increase in battery capacity. However, the iPhone 16 Plus might see a decrease in its battery size. Cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far? Only a few rumors have surfaced about the iPhone 16 Pro Max's camera. The telephoto lens on the iPhone 16 Pro Max could potentially have a 300mm focal length, more than double the 120mm lens, on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's also suggested that the 16 Pro Max will feature a 1, 1.4-inch sensor, slightly larger than the 1, 1.28 sensor in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This could allow the camera to capture more light and enhance overall performance. This is particularly important considering the rumor that the iPhone 16 Pro will adopt the Tetra Prism design telephoto lens of the iPhone 15 Pro Max to match the camera capabilities of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This rumor is further supported by a report from research firm Trendforce. Another potential change could be the type of telephoto lens used on the iPhone 16 Pro models. A rumor suggests Apple might adopt a thinner lens with improved magnification. Reports also suggest that both iPhone 16 Pro models could feature a 48-megapixel ultrawide camera, a significant upgrade from the current 12-megapixel lens. However, the selfie camera might remain at 12-megapixel, the same as the iPhone 15, with an upgrade potentially slated for the iPhone 17. Lastly, it appears that spatial video won't be exclusive to the Pro models, as rumors hint at a vertical camera arrangement for the standard iPhone 16 models. Subsequent leaked mockups and molds of the iPhone 16 seem to support this. Software of the iPhone 16 Pro Max Like the rest of the iPhone 16 lineup, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to run iOS 18, which is currently under development at Apple. Details are limited, but early indications suggest that artificial intelligence will play a significant role in the updated software, and that the OS update could be Apple's most substantial yet. Given that the AI capabilities targeted for the iOS 18 release may require considerable processing power, the iPhone 16 models might have unique features for on-device AI, while older iPhones will need to rely on the cloud. To assist with all the AI features, the iPhone 16 models could feature an improved microphone iPhone 16 Pro Max or iPhone 16 Ultra? The biggest question surrounding the iPhone 16 Pro Max is whether there will even be a Pro Max iPhone in 2024, or if it will be replaced by the long-awaited iPhone Ultra. Numerous rumors suggested that an iPhone Ultra could launch alongside the iPhone 15. It was also proposed that the Ultra might not be the fifth iPhone, 
but rather a rebranded version of the Pro Max. And admittedly, iPhone 16 Ultra does sound a bit smoother than iPhone 15 Pro Max. According to Mark Gurman, a well-known source of Apple Insider information, we could see an iPhone Ultra launch in 2024. It's unclear whether this will be a brand new kind of iPhone 16, or if Apple will finally retire the Pro Max moniker. Given the abundance of rumors claiming the latter ahead of the iPhone 15 launch, we'd expect it to be that. Perhaps a higher spec iPhone isn't the right direction. As phones editor John Velasco argues, Apple might be better off developing a foldable iPhone than an Ultra.